All right, today, what's up, y'all? This is Vaughn Eddie's Bible. I'm about to start the message. Didn't even introduce myself to you. My bad. But listen up. Another thing that you need to do in your life is you need to know your value, right? And you need to begin understanding and figuring out what is your actual value. And I believe that some of us are in a place where, truthfully, we're valuable as people, Jim Rohn might say, but we're not necessarily valuable to the marketplace as yet, right? Then you have other, others of us who we're valuable to the marketplace, but not necessarily to the point where we're going to be paid large bucks to the, you know, from the marketplace as yet. And then there are others of us who, yo, know, we're doing what we're supposed to do. We're killing the game and we're very valuable to the marketplace. But here's the challenge with some of us, however, and truthfully, I found myself in this challenge and I might even be, um, well, so, to be truthful, I'm here at this point right now is understanding the value that you bring to the table. And the problem that some of us have, especially, I, I think I'm a nice guy, and most of you listening in are probably nice people. And what tends to happen to nice people is that we often tend to sell ourselves short as far as our value, right? So even though we might know that we bring value to the table, you have some people who, um, because, they're, because you're nice, they'll ask you to do every single thing for free you know, and something in you feels like, oh, um, you know, if, 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 if I really do love to do what I do, then that means that I would do it for free for everybody. And I mean, I remember I had a conversation with a friend, a homegirl of mine, and you should, she used to say, yo, Vaughn, you should just, you, there's no way you should charge to speak. You should just be out there just speaking for free because if you really love to do that and if you really love to help people, then you would just speak for free. And what you have to understand is that in anything that you do, once you become good and once you become great at what it is that you do and you become valuable, that means that you put in time, that means that you put in effort, that means that you put in energy. You've spent a whole lot to get to where you were, to where you are, sorry, right? To, to become excellent at what you do. And there has to come a point where, of course, you have to pay your dues. By all means, when I was playing drums, I had to pay my dues. I had to play for, start off playing for free. But then what you begin to realize is that people will begin taking advantage of you. And I'm not saying, I'm not using that in a way to say that they're trying to take advantage of you, right? Most people aren't necessarily even trying to take advantage of you on purpose. But most people in life want to get everything that they can for free without having to give you anything of value in return. And they would take the world from you if they could without giving you value in return. And you have to begin at some point to understand, well, hmm, I know now that I bring a certain value to the table and have faith enough, watch, and I use that word on purpose, have faith enough that sometimes or often, most of the time, if somebody's not offering the right value um, to you in return for, the, for what you're going to provide to them, right? And you, watch this, right? We're not just thinking of money. If, if, if I'm going to be in a relationship and I'm going to be providing value in a relationship, but the other person is not going to be providing me with value that's worth it based on the value that I'm bringing to the table, then I may need to reconsider that whether or not this is a relationship that I should get into. If I'm going to do a job, the job should pay at the val based on the value of the service that I'm bringing to the table. And so the reason why that's important is because you will run yourself ragged eventually if you just do everything for free, right? If, you, if you're always giving, 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 a lot of times that might, you might have a complex. You might actually think that you're God, right? And you have to get to this point where you allow God to be God. So you need to pray and ask God, first of all, God, what is my value? What value do I bring to the table? table? And based on that, what should I charge, right? And don't think more than money. For some of you, it's a money thing. For some of you, it might be a relational thing. For some of you, it's should I be giving all my emotions and putting all my emotions in this direction? Am I getting um, anything in return for all the emotion that I'm giving out? You see what I'm saying? So make sure that you um, make sure that you pray and ask God to show you your value and have faith enough. And the reason why I say faith enough is this, because a lot of us are afraid to say no to some opportunities because we feel like if we say no to this opportunity over here, that no other opportunities are going to open up. And you have to start living by faith and believing that 
the right opportunities will begin to open up. But some of us, truthfully, we, we just jump at the, every single opportunity that comes our way, and some of them are not the right opportunity, and they're not necessarily the door that we need to be walking down. So, you know, I don't want to make this too long, but listen, you need to know your value. And once you start knowing your value, you know, begin holding people accountable to get, ret make sure that you're getting a return on your investment when you invest your time and your energy, right? So thank goodness I've begun to see a return on the investment of all the things that I've been doing speaking-wise. Shout out to St. John's University, who, as I've invested in myself and invested in St. John's University, they've also begun to look out for me and invest in me, bringing me in to speak on a regular and consistent basis or what have you, right? And other places have also. But better believe there was a time that I drove down to Florida, right? Man, I should have started with this story. And I hope some of y'all get to, like, go watch this to the end so that you can hear this story. But I remember when I drove down to Florida to speak once. And listen, you got to do it sometimes. I was a beginner speaker, and I drove all the way down to Florida from New York, all right, Orlando. Rented a car and everything, okay? Drove down and came back up in, in a matter of like two, two days. Yo, I'm talking about I was drained. I gave two speeches while I was down there, to, one to an elementary school, one to a middle school. Gave two speeches while I was down there, okay? Um, you know what I got paid? I got paid in, with a $50 gift card, which, and, and I'm grateful, so I'm not complaining. This not, we're not talking about complaining here, right? But while I'm grateful for that opportunity, right? But I got $50 in a gift card, and then I got um, some coupons to Chili's, <laughs> all right? And mind you, I had brought two of my, my, my brother and my boy down with me, right, so that they could help me with the event or what have you. Um, but look, I, I, I spent a whole lot. And based on the value that I gave, come on, would we say that I got a return on my investment that was as valuable as what I had put out? You know, but understanding that I was a beginner at that time, you know, some might say, hey, it was an opportunity. And, you went, and sometimes you got to just step out on faith and do those things, you know what I'm saying, which are out of the box. But we're talking about on a consistent basis. Imagine if every single day people from Florida started calling me and asking me to drive all the way to Florida from the northeast, all right? and spending um, however much money that I would have to spend. Like, I would die. Like, what would I do? I wouldn't be able to live. So know your value. This video has been long enough. Know your value, all right? And if you don't know your value, begin finding ways to figure out your value. Um, maybe, you know, help me find a mentor or what have you. But maybe I can do a video on that in the future. But begin finding ways to understand and know what value is you bring to the table. Peace out.